I'm Mike Duffy, and here's a look at what's happening today. After three days of recovery efforts, crews were finally able to pull a tow truck out of the Sacramento River. The body of one of the passengers was also found inside that truck. The CHP believes the body is that of Rosalind Sharma, but are waiting for confirmation from the coroner's office. Rosalind went missing along with her husband, Shalvin Ash, after crashing off of Highway 50 and into the Sacramento River on March 26. And Sacramento police made an arrest in an attempted kidnapping that happened on Friday. Police arrested 20-year-old Joseph Dumarcy. He was arrested yesterday in the Meadowview area. They also found the car that was used in that crime. The attempted kidnapping happened to a 13-year-old girl when she was walking to school. Police say a man in a silver car pulled up next to her asking for directions. The girl noticed he was touching himself, so she started walking away. Police say the driver then got out of the car and tried to pull her in, but she escaped and made it to school safely. Phoenix police say they won't recommend charges against former Sacramento King Mike Bibby after they looked into accusations of sexual abuse and harassment of a high school teacher. The teacher told police Bibby groped her and rubbed up against her after pulling her into his car on school grounds back in 2017. Bibby's lawyers have not released a statement. <laughs> And now for a check of your weather, here's meteorologist Tracy Humphrey. Hey, thank you, Mike. Well, our forecast for today, if you notice a few more clouds in tow, and it definitely impacted our temperatures, here's a look out toward the Golden One Center. Now, keep it in mind, this is being recorded around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperature 69 in Sacramento. The same time yesterday was more like the mid to upper 70s. 75 degrees in Stockton, 77 in Modesto, 71 in Marysville, and 50 degrees in Tahoe. So a minor system kind of sinking down from the south really gave us a few more clouds today and kind of curved a huge warm-up that we experience yesterday, especially here in Sacramento. Areas a little farther down to the south in the northern San Joaquin Valley, not so much for them. Another system is going to be coming in in the overnight, and this can be changing our conditions yet again, primarily with the opportunity for rainfall and snowfall coming back into the forecast. Let's take a look. So here's a look at our future cast based on model data. You can see Monday morning, not so much going on, just a few more clouds. And then around midday, the system moving in from the north, pushing in through the south, opportunity for a widespread rainfall once that system System kind of moves through the valley locations and you see that blue there denoting the opportunity for snowfall above 5,000 feet in elevation Monday evening. Yeah, you're going to be dealing with a wet and slippery commute and some of that uh, those wide range showers that are going to be moving through will have some pockets of heavier rainfall kind of embedded in that system. So be mindful of that Tuesday afternoon. This system is out of Dodge and then after that we'll have a very nice warm up uh, for your nice spring break and also a pretty decent forecast for your Easter weekend as well and the interim for tomorrow grab the umbrella yeah get those rain boots you might need them uh, bay area tomorrow 57 with the opportunity for showers for the valley we'll see a mix of sun and clouds with some showers thrown in best chance for sunshine will be early in the day again that system coming in around midday and once it comes in opportunity for showers abound afternoon highs in the lower 60s for the valley mid to upper 50s for the foothills and then the upper 40s for the sierra some of the hardest hit spots in the valley could see up to a half of an inch of rainfall and for the foothills maybe an inch and what about the sierra anywhere for 10 10 inches of snowfall to a foot above 5,000 feet in elevation. So technically it's still spring, but winter's still holding on. So that's a look at your weather forecast. Now you're all caught up with what's happening today.